So hello everybody, welcome to the CJW channel. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. I thought I'd do a little video, show you uh, a little project I'm working on and uh, thought you may like to see it. So let's get started. So right here is a Honda 1992 TRX 200D Type 2 four tracks ATV, it's two wheel drive. And uh, it's been a great four wheeler. I've had it since 2008, 2009, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, the guy took uh, really good care of it. It just needed two brand new front tires. It needed a new battery. It needed something to do with the chain adjustment back there. But other than that, everything else was was great on it. Uh, it set out in the weather. I really wanted it to be in a shelter somewhere. But the majority of its life had been sitting under a tarp or just out in the weather. So everything is kind of rusted and paint's faded but really it's in in great shape to be a 92 model uh it's done me great um, it sat for two years until about two weeks ago and i got it running but uh, that's another story um but it wouldn't start so i took all the plastic off the front i took the fuel tank off i took the uh, air box for the air filter took it off and it was very easy to get to carburetor is very easy to take off took it off took it apart cleaned it put it all back together put brand new fuel in it the battery was gone bad so i hooked the boosting cables to it started right up so like i said it's running strong uh, it does need a new seat cover and it needs uh the front brakes i think it's in the master cylinder right here this one right here is just real sloppy, so I went and bought a brand new one, so I'm going to replace that. I did get a brand new battery, so I've already got a replacement. And I also have a replacement for the uh, choke cable. I ain't had a choke cable in a long time, but right there it is. So that's going to be the video for this evening, is to uh, take you along and show you how I'm going to install this, this choke cable. So just stick around, and uh, we'll make it happen. So... Uh... This right here, fuel tank, should come right off. And once it does, you can just kind of put over to the side. And uh, it's down in here. And what you gotta do is you gotta remove this right here that goes to the actual air filter box. It's got a little groove that it sits in, and you just pull it out. And there are these clips that you just kind of lift up, and they'll just pull right off. So, what you got to do is you got to pull that back off to get down to there. So, you'll remove the lines. take this out so right here is the choke and you can see if i get that stuff out of there that's where you hook it up to got it in just like that just like i've got it so right there it's done seated in and you're good to go but that's got to be secure too to clamp in around that right there what i was saying you have to clamp that back to that to keep it from from this moving uh, but that just secures everything but you can see it moves the choke so that it's not going to move around on you that way You can use it so i'm going to go ahead and replace the battery it's an everstart platinum power sport that right there is the part number for this one that's what it takes so i'm going to show you how to install that drop our battery 
right in place. Mine should line right up. This one's already got acid and it's already charged. So you don't have to do anything to it. Take it out of its box. Do whatever you want to do as far as putting some anti-corrosive stuff on it. Whatever you want to do. And uh, be done with it. So everything's connected back up, the battery, spark plug, all that. I'm gonna turn the key on. We got power now. Pull our choke. It's not really that cold, but we're gonna see what happens. Just turn it off. good just pull the choke see what happens yeah they don't need it so there it is it's running now it's warming up didn't have to use the choke. I tried it out though, it does work. So that's fixed, got a new battery. So we're getting one piece at a time and getting closer to having this thing uh, running uh, good again.